from what I've seen, it seems like they wouldn't believe that I don't. Like, they always ask me, uh, do you eat people? <laughs> yeah. and stuff like that. It seems like they don't believe that I don't eat people. Mm. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I don't know. It could be a joke. Yeah. But everybody I run into, you know you eat people for real. Have you ever tried it? And stuff like that. Say the alphabet's backwards fast. I'll find you a brand new dome. A criminal-minded nigga that got chefs in his nine. So head to the east side, because it's bread from time. Actually, they tried to Exclusive. Find. Exclusive. You know, just before Strange. And I didn't really know too much about them because I learned more about them, um, more about them when uh, you know I hooked up with Strange finally. So, yeah, they did that stuff right. I think maybe even Strange might have took some pointers from how they were handling their merch. Right. And all of a sudden, Strange start building buildings and and getting their merch up. Right. Yeah. See, cause I, I know I had seen some other interviews. And I would just say, like, they are very dedicated, like, not, not the actual, like, artists, but, like, the, the, the particular fans that come to, you know, that like the certain type of artists, like, they're very dedicated and loyal to, like, their artists. Like, so you could be independent yeah. and, and tour for, you know, it's that type of deal. You feel that type of love from that, that crowd. Yeah, it's a little different for me because, like, when I go out on a strange tour, you know, it's a lot of white people and, and stuff like that, and they love it. And then when I go on my own tour, it's a whole different crowd. It's like the season of the sickness loaded dudes, mm. a lot of them black. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like getting the experience both ways. Was, that that gave me a lot of knowledge of what I want to do in the future for my last, whatever, 10 years in this game. Right. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to put that all together for this last little go around. Do you, like when you were in the process of like making music and albums, do you keep like strategic things like that in mind when you're making different songs to target market different groups, or it's just like whatever's on you at that time you just put into the music? It was just doing doing what I felt at that time, but then I did learn like Tech he makes he makes songs for the stage. I learned that off of him. Like, he makes performance songs for the album. And that's a big, big deal right there. Because I never really had performance albums. I just had fans who loved certain songs. So that that was a big thing for me to learn from Tech. Yeah. And, it's, and it, if it was like, if it was an artist that was listening to this, when you say a performance type song, does that mean like more things that they could easy for them to re repeat back? Or like, how would you yeah. describe that? Easier hooks, catchier hooks, you know, um, crowd reaction type hooks. You know, I mean, they're already going to like text spitting. But if he had a catchy hook or something like that, or, or crowd reaction type hook, you know what I mean? That's even better. And I learned that. And even though I'm not that type of rapper and probably won't ever do it that way, but that's why I think tech is like the best indie performer that I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. I, I got to ask you this. I had ran across where you said uh, one of the craziest things, I don't know if something crazier since then that happened, but you said uh, one crazy thing that you had signed uh, a fan, you signed a finger, but you didn't kind of, and it's like you kind of went on to the next question. You were signing their finger or they brought a finger to you? Well, one guy... <laughs> ironically from Kansas City his homie um, cut his finger off and um, they had it uh, in some little jar you know what I mean that's how the finger thing came about but fans started bringing fake fingers to tours and I would sign them oh yeah that, so that turned out and end up becoming a thing like this bringing fingers yeah and it all st it all stemmed off a friend of mine um, his buddy um, had a finger in a jar at his house and I was like is that real and I you know social media was cracking so I posted it and people start knowing me for it yeah so they start bringing fingers to the shows 
Like, I did want to tap back a little bit and ask you a question as far as because you come from a certain type of, you know, environment, a certain type of upbringing, you know, like the gang culture and everything like that. If it was like for the fans of yours that, you know, they hear your, you know, your rapping ability, the different, you know, the type of songs and everything that you put out and they listening to you like now in your interviews or someone that be maybe that's growing up like in a gang culture type of environment, you know, yeah. What what type of advice would you give to them or what type of things that you did you go through to that time that helped you get to where you at now? Cuz I've heard you say like, you know, that you're not from it, not that you don't love your neighborhood or you don't represent cuz you got to go back, you got family there, but it's sort of you're not like still on that type of time no more. Like what type of advice would you give or what did you go through that got you to that point? Well, I would tell them, stay out of the gangs. If, if you don't mean it, and then you have any other kind of goal, pursue that goal. Because there's it's just it's no good. No good. I didn't, like, you know, I grew up an only child, so they were family to me. Mm. You know what I mean? So I chose that for the love. You know what I mean? But I would tell them, you know, it's a lot of bullshit that go on with it. You know what I mean? If you have another goal in life, pursue that hard. Yeah. Yeah. And did that, during that time, I know you just said you had got shot and nothing kind of really came out of it. Was that like the first and the last experience that basically sent your mind into a whole nother direction where you was like, things ain't what it seemed to be? Yeah, definitely. Like, I thought it was what what it what everybody says it is you know when i got shot i went to my real family to come get help you know what i mean because it was a whole bunch of yeses and this and and x was already gone mm -hmm. you know what i mean so you know i didn't really you know what i mean get no help on in that sense and it just was so hot that i had to talk about it on a song right yeah when you um like after that type of situation was going on and i don't know around this at uh, the age that this happened but i know you around a certain time you said your mom ended up uh kicking you out the house what were how did 16 how, 16 how how did you know those experiences like transfer into the music you it was like more therapeutic for you to get that stuff off of your chest into the music well, at first it was, I was desperate. You know what I mean? I'm doing what I got to do to get in the studio and and put something out on consignment. That was, it, it was like, I've raised myself since I was about 13. Because my mom, you know, was off the drugs. And, uh, you know. She was more into her husband than me, so I pretty much raised myself. So when I finally had to go over a pack of hot dogs, I was like, well, I got to get out there and really do my thing. You know what I mean? Her, my my stepdad, her husband, was tired of me eating up all the food. Mm. You know, my, my, it wasn't like a bad kick out, like get the fuck out type shit. Yeah. It was like I got to spend, spend the rest of my life with him. And three's not company type of deal. So I was went to go stay with my homie, slept in a couple cars, you know what I mean, until I got my stuff together. Yeah. Now, and, and how do you, like, now kind of fast forwarding to today, well, you know, we're talking about the different music and everything that come out, you said, you know, going to the show, um, the man's opinion that you're going to end up dropping do you think that it's a trendy thing in hip hop right now with the they call it emo rap, or do you think this is a real thing or people just taking advantage of the consumer that people are really going through real problems, but they may have not been through nothing but making this type of music? Um, I think it's 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 trendy definitely, but I mean, as each individual I can't really say. You know, I mean I still think a lot of rappers are doing a, a lot of trendy stuff just to get their name out there you know what i mean but i, I really don't know about that what is it emo rap is it like yeah, emo I, like the emotional rap you know just 
Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, like, like, well, sick. Mm-hmm. I did it, you know, in the 90s. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, it, it just sounded a little different because I was, you know, pissed. But, I mean, it was kind of like emotional rap. And um, I say, what, 40, 60? I think 40, you know, they're probably going through it. 60, they know that's what's out there right now. Yeah. Attack, attack it while it's out there. And, you know, in, in 2020, it's, it's supposed to be talks of um, a UK and Canada tour. This, this, I think it's like a solo tour first ever for for you to come up. Yeah, um, I got to handle my paperwork and all that stuff. It's, it's taking a minute because I had to get uh, birth certificates and stuff. And, you know, I, I grew up, you know, mom on drugs and stuff. It was hard to get that kind of stuff. You know, I mean, I didn't. I mean, knowing who you are enough to get it, you know what I mean? So, yeah, that's that's in the process now because everybody's telling me that they go over to these places and they triple the money, and I've never done that. I really don't fly, mm. but I will fly to get triple the money if that's true. <laughs> right. Is it a, like anxiety to come behind flying? Um, just it's too human. Mm. And humans controlling your, your life up there. Yeah, you don't know what he been through. I flew all through the '90s, though. I had no choice. Plus, I wanted to make it so bad, and and shocked that people on the other side of the United States knew who I was, being from Sacramento. So I just went in and did it. Plus, I had people there that already like said he, that's all he do is fly. So he ain't worried about it. So I just forced myself to do it. But after 9/11. I was like, well, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. This don't seem right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I know, and I'm assuming now since going UK and Canada and all that, you had mentioned like you had to get off of uh, child support and all that stuff is cleared up. Yeah, finally got it cleared up last year. Word, word. That's dope. That's dope. You and that child have a good relationship? Oh, yeah. Yeah. She just has always stayed across the other side of the map. I just gave her six hundred to uh, down payment for her to get her first in the spot. She just turned nineteen, so I shot her six hundred to uh, get in her new spot. We we that mean that's that's my one right there. Yeah, and that that's not the one that's rapping. This uh, another no. She's still in fact. Oh okay. Our rela- our relationship is pretty good. Now, the sti- it's like a stigma. I, I, I don't want to say stigma because that sometimes that could be interpreted wrong. Like a myth, like kind of around, you know, around Brother Lynch. Hunt. Definitely for me growing up as a fan, like, okay, now with social media, you know, people are a little bit easier to access, a little bit easier. And you still kind of keep, you know, a little bit, even though you do interact with your fans. But, you know, people just see, oh, the type of music, the raps, the horror, rip gut, this and that. Like, what's three things that you think the average person that don't don't know about you or wouldn't believe about you? Um, from what I've seen, it seems like they wouldn't believe that I don't. Like, they always ask me, uh, do you eat people? <laughs> yeah. Stuff like that. It seems like they don't believe that I don't eat people. Mm. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I don't know. It could be a joke. Yeah. Everybody I run into, you know you eat people for real. Have you ever tried it? And stuff like that. That's that's one of them. Um, they wouldn't know that I was shy. You know what I mean? I'm hella shy. And, uh, Let's see, what would the third be? Scared to die, I guess. The first one that you said, I I think that's a normal poly question that I, like a reoccurring question that I kept running across, like either reading article interviews or running across stuff. I was like, I don't really want to just ask them that question, you know what I mean? But I did hear that. I would that. try it. You definitely. I would try it. And Anything I, cooked. I love meat, but I haven't. It's never been introduced to you at no point in time. No. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's crazy. Well, I definitely appreciate it. I want to go ahead, go back to the beginning, you know, um, to plug. You know, you say within the first couple of months is when the new album is going to come out and then you're already starting on move, right? Yeah. And you say the Xmas, sing, you know, Christmas single was out on all digital platforms and you got the floor for anything else that you want to plug and put out there for the people, your social media and everything else. Okay. Um, yeah, just uh, follow my YouTube.com slash Brother Lynchung Platinum Artist. Follow me on Twitter, Brother Lynchung instagram you know what i mean and get ready for the shows and get ready for my movie of my career that i'm gonna put out because that you know might define where i'm gonna go whether retire or, or not you know what i mean after that movie because i'm really trying to get into acting now so well i've been in a few movies you know what i mean but uh i mean real real acting you know what i mean so that movie right there will define whether i'm gonna retire from rap you know what i mean not totally retire i'm always tour but you know from doing albums mm. focusing on the movies so pretty much just all of that man tune in i'm always posting and reacting reacting to the fans and stuff so i'll let your boy